Hey guys, it's me, UB Programmer, and I am back with another project which is handwritten digit recognition, right? So, we will be doing this project with the ANN, the deep learning model, artificial neural network, and let's just see how our app looks like, right? So, let me just create a new terminal and execute our app, right? okay uh, you can see i'm getting the warnings of gpu setup we can totally ignore that if we don't have gpu and this server has been created for us right and let's see so this is the simplest like uh, ui you can get and the title says handwritten digit recognition using ann so the uh, project descriptions uh, says that please upload an image of handwritten digit and this intelligence will be able to predict what has been written on that image right so uh, let's just choose a file or a, a image right uh, let me choose this one as an example and let's just feed it to our model and you can see our model has guessed it correctly this image contains the digit 3 right so uh, whatever the di uh, digit it will be recognized uh, it will show us there right and uh, let's just do one thing I'll just open my paint and uh, I'll just write something there right uh, let's just write five okay and uh, let's see if we feed it to our model and it will give us correct result or not right so if we save as a image as I don't know uh, input to our model to model right on the desktop on the desktop and I just close it and give that digit to our model right and let's see if it's working or not so you can see uh, it has guessed it correctly or predicted correctly right so the model is working and let's just see the code a bit and if you want to discuss more about this code the source code or maybe wanna get it as a downloadable file so you can always contact me through the uh, whatsapp number or the uh, gmail right and these are given in the descriptions also so you can check it out okay let's uh, discuss uh, a little bit about our code and you can see uh, i have created a uh, obviously a, a python notebook where i train this model and uh, like save it as my model for future prediction so uh, I just uh, use the data set which is already present in the Keras, right? Keras is the library for uh, deep learning. Uh, I'm sure you have an idea about it. And I'm just uh, like uh, this data set already is uh, like uh, separated into the X train, Y train and X X Y test, right? So we just have to like uh, create the variables for us. And this is the format like you can't uh, uh, do anything wrong about it right the syntax has to be followed and then we can just show uh, a sample from our uh, training set which is like this four and then we are just creating our model uh, because it a multi-class uh, classification problem so we have to use the softmax layer as the activation layer in the last uh, layer of our model right and then we are just compiling it and fitting it right so you can do this all this on your machine and collab also uh, so this is not a, like uh, any heavy data set which will like consume a, a gpu or something like that so you can easily run it on your machine and uh, if you have any problems you can always contact me on the whatsapp 
so that I can solve it for you and then we are just making predictions and the accuracy you can see I'm getting is 97.8 percent and it can be obviously increased by using uh, grid search CV or hyperparameter tuning and things like that but I am happy with that because I just want to like deploy it uh, on the flask and uh, like uh, create a project about it right where I can use an image right okay and then I just saved it uh, my model as digit recognizer.h5 file and you can see it is uh, showing here and then I just uh, created a pipeline a custom pipeline for any new image uh, like I uh, if I save image as the uh, uh, from the snippet tool or maybe download it from somewhere so I can parse it uh, to my this pipeline and it will convert it into uh, numpy array for feeding it to model right and then I am just here testing the my pipeline so that uh, it can like predict uh, when it will be dealing with our flask cap and then this is the code for our flask cap and you can see uh, we have like load the model from this kiras dot uh, load model function or method and then we just uh, if uh, we are getting a file from our uploader which is in the uh, uploader template if we are getting file from this right uh, then uh, we are just uh, parsing it here and uh, giving it to our pipeline this is the same pipeline which I have showed you in the this uh, testing pipeline notebook right so this pipeline and the this pipeline is the same right and uh, we are just saving our result which will be like uh, the value of the digit, digit uh, predicted our model and this commented is the also the same pipeline so let's just get rid of it and yeah we are just executing it by uh, app dot run right and then we are just passing our result which is predicted digit and the input image uh, whatever user has input and in the uploaded dot html template we are just showing our input image and the result which is predicted digit and these uh, like brackets uh, shows that it will be a variable right and this value can be changed and the index image what it contains is like it is uh, it is containing a form where through which we can upload uh, image right and it will be passed and then to our pipeline then to our uploaded dot html so that was it guys uh, i hope you like it and if you want to talk more about this project or maybe you want the source code you can always contact me on the whatsapp and i will just arrange a zoom explainer session or maybe uh, arrange some uh, explainer uh, sessions about other projects which you can recommend to me and we will see you there